Hey everybody, Susan here. It's really cold outside. Yesterday it was in the uh, mid 50s. So I got out here and got busy and dug up a little portion of the yard. I didn't measure it so I have no idea how big it actually is. But, um, well as you can tell one end is up, one end is down. So I dug it to try to match in depth and I'll be filling in more and the metal here of course and that piece of wood it's temporary because what I would like to do is get some wood and put up behind it so that it'll end up making a natural bed sort of raised bed and uh, I'm going to plant me some trees here I'm thinking right now peaches and figs and I don't know what else but something because it, it's big enough to, because they're dwarfs you know they don't take up that much space but it took a lot of work I had to dig it with the shovel and then I took that little bitty old electric tiller I got and tilled it up and of course it only tills the surface so I'll be getting back in there turning it again with the shovel because I've got uh, quite a bit of compost I want to put in there that's ready and once it's all done and I plant then I'll layer it uh, with more wood chips that I scavenged from up where the wood chip pile was because there's still plenty enough up there to do a good coat here but it's very cold it's very windy today it's about between 18 and 20 degrees and we're expected to get up to nine inches of some ice and snow. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm hoping it goes around us, or at least the majority. Because people go just start raving mad around here when they get a snowflake, much less any accumulation. And I've got to make a run to the store because this is my shopping day and. I'm expecting the shelves to be kind of on the empty side for milk, eggs, and bread of all things. Not that I need them, because I don't. But, yeah, some of my little trees are going to be happy when they finally get into the ground. But, I'll show you more as I progress. Thanks for watching. 